Hi, Math 20s. This video comes out of lesson 1.4 on geometric series. I have a couple examples of geometric series here. So first of all, they need to be geometric, meaning they have a common ratio. In the top series here, you can see it multiplies by 3 to get the next term. So common ratio would be 3. On the bottom one, it's multiplying by a half or by 0.5 each time. And so the common ratio would be a half. Uh, things that we've seen before but that don't fit this category would be arithmetic series, so something that adds 5 or subtracts 25 every time um, clearly doesn't have a common ratio, so we couldn't fit those under this category. Now, if we are asked to find sums, for example, find S10, the sum of the first 10 terms in that first geometric series, we have some choices. Our formula sheet has these two formulas here. Sn equals t1 times rdn minus 1 over r minus 1, and Sn equals rtn minus t1 over r minus 1. You don't need to memorize them, you have them on the sheet, but it is important to decide which one makes more sense to use. In this particular question, we have t1. You'll notice both formulas. You need t1, you need r either way. Um, you'll also need to know how many terms in the top one? Well, we do know that. We know we're adding up 10 terms. In the bottom one, we would need to know what term 10 is. We aren't given that, so it would add an extra step to our question to try to use this formula. So I'm going to choose to use the top one with just straight substituting in what I know. I know the first term is 2. I know the common ratio is 3. I know that we're adding up 10 terms. And so I just substitute in the numbers, and now it becomes a bed mass exercise, just making sure you do order of operations. So here comes the calculator, 3 to the 10 is this gigantic number. Subtract 1, you get 59048. Multiply by 2, divide by 2, those 2's cancel out. And your final answer is maybe a surprisingly big number, 59,048. Seems like how would we possibly just add these little numbers and get to 59,000? But if you think about what's happening with these numbers, in fact, if you wrote out the next few, you'd add 54, add 162, add 486, and so on. And the numbers get pretty big pretty fast. So by the 10th term, you'd be adding a pretty huge number. And one big difference I want you to focus on here is S10 means the sum of 10 terms. It does not mean T10. It doesn't mean term number 10. That would be just asking me for what term 10 in this list of numbers it was.